everybody, welcome to my channel. If you are a current subscriber, welcome back. And if you are joining us for the first time, then welcome. It's so good to have you. My name is Tamisha and my channel is A Mouthful and I love food and everything that has to do with food. So if you're a food lover just like me, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so that you can tune in for more food videos and recipes in the near future. So today, you guys, we are going to get right into this recipe. We are making chocolate chip cookies and not just any type of chocolate chip cookies but these are going to be loaded with tons of chocolate chip in every single bite and they're going to be nice and soft baked and easily just melt like butter in your mouth so let's get right into the recipe all right guys, guys so let's go ahead and get into our ingredients for our cookies we're going to need a stick of butter you also need an egg i have all-purpose flour white sugar I have imitation vanilla flavoring. You guys, when you're baking, you actually want to use some pure vanilla extract, but imitation vanilla is fine. I actually ran out, so this is what I'm using today, but it's not that big of a deal. You're going to need some baking soda. I have some parchment paper to line my cookie sheet with. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate and milk chocolate morsels, but you can use whatever chocolate chips you want. We need dark brown sugar. Um, walnuts are optional, but I love to use walnuts in my cookies, especially with chocolate chips. So that's what we're going to put in ours today. And you guys, here is the secret ingredient to make your cookies nice and soft. They're going to be so delicious. And that is cornstarch and cream cheese. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start getting set up to bake our cookies. And I will put the recipe in the description box below for you guys. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our wet ingredients. So what we're gonna do is we're going to cream together these ingredients. I have one stick of butter, a quarter of a cup of a block of cream cheese, three quarters cup of dark brown sugar, one quarter cup of white sugar, one large egg, and two tablespoons of vanilla. So here's a note for my recipe. What I'm doing is I like to bake with salted butter. Now I know most baking ingredients call for unsalted butter, but when I'm making cookies, I actually do like to start with a salted butter. And what I do is I don't add any additional salt to the recipe. So when we get to our dry ingredients, um, I'll point that out where you would normally add in salt. I'm actually going to omit it. So you want to also make sure that your butter Butter and your cream cheese are at room temperature just so it can it can mix together a little bit easier for you and I'm using a hand mixer this would be a lot easier if you're using a stand mixer um, but a hand mixer mixer works just as fine you just have to take a little bit extra time to do it so we're going to get this nice and incorporated Okay, so in our bowl for our dry ingredients, I have two and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour that I sifted out a little bit, um, two teaspoons of cornstarch, one teaspoon of baking soda, and if you wanted to, if you wanted to use unsalted butter, then if you want to add the extra salt into your recipe, you would use a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. But like I said earlier, I already have salted butter, so we're not going to add any extra salt to this. And we're just going to add this into our mixing bowl. And then get this nice and combined until it gives us a nice cookie dough consistency. All right, so our cookie dough is looking pretty good, but it's missing something. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our chocolate chips. I have a cup of semi-sweet, a cup of milk chocolate, and then a quarter of a cup of walnuts. And like I said earlier, the walnuts are optional. You do not have to add those in. And I'm gonna mix it just a little bit with my hand mixer, but it's gonna be a little tough. But I'm just gonna get it going, and then I'll finish it up with my spoon. All right, so look at our cookie dough. It is nice and loaded with chocolate chips. You can see chocolate chips in every single portion. So what we're gonna do actually, we're not gonna bake this immediately because now the dough has actually warmed up a bit since you've been working with it. You don't wanna bake cookies with warm dough. And the reason why is that your cookies will actually go flat. Uh, you know, So you want it to stay a nice, thick, firm um, cookie. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this with some plastic wrap and we're gonna stick this in the refrigerator for about one to 
two hours maybe one hour because we're ready for some cookies around here so um, you just want to get your dough nice and cold before you bake your cookies and you can refrigerate your cookie dough anywhere from one hour to up to five days as long as you have it sealed in an airtight container so when we come back our cookie dough will be nice and cooled and we're going to start forming our cookies and getting them baked all right guys so what we're going to do is go ahead and get our second batch of cookies into the oven as you can see our dough is nice and firm and has about I actually let it chill for about an hour and a half so our oven is preheated to 350 degrees I have my cookie sheet lined with parchment paper and our first batch is already baked as you can see they're nice and brown around the edges and I have them sitting on our cooling rack for about 15 minutes until they're completely cooled and then we can dig into the first batch <laughs> so I baked them on 350 degrees for about 10 minutes and then I um, rotated the pan halfway through. So what I'm going to do now for my second batch is I'm going to get a heaping tablespoon of the dough and I'm going to make these a little bit neater <laughs> than the first batch. As you can see I kind of free formed the first one so I'm just going to roll the dough into a little bit of ball and just press down slightly and get these onto our cookie sheet. And don't worry, my hands are nice and clean. And these are for my family. I always wash my hands before, before starting. So, and this is a little messy. But cookie dough is supposed to be fun, so it can be a little messy. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna roll this and then slightly press just so that it can come out to be a nice and neat cookie. It doesn't have to be. You know, it can be free firm just like the first batch that I did. All right, there's our last heaping tablespoon for this batch. And I'm gonna get these into the oven and bake for about 10 minutes and then I will show you everything once it's done. All right, you guys, here you have it. This is our cream cheese loaded with chocolate chips, soft baked cookies. And these are absolutely delicious, nice and soft and buttery and full of chocolate chips. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you give this recipe a try, please don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you think about it. Hit that subscribe button for more videos in the near future. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, you guys take care. See you next time.